I stumbled upon this video. Tell me a ghost story that sounds completely unbelievable, but is entirely- I don't care who believes me with the story because my sister and I saw it and I believe me and her. So me and my sister, we lived in this old house that's actually right over there. That's the old house we lived in. I know, it looks scary. But one day, when me and my sister and my mom were cleaning out this one part of the house that we never really, like, saw, we found this doll, and it looked exactly like the real Annabelle doll. Me and my sister, at the time, we didn't know what the real Annabelle doll looked like, so we are like, oh, cute, like, this huge-ass doll that's, like, this tall. But we found this doll, and we thought, like, oh, Halloween is coming up. Let's go put this doll in a trail and put it on a tree and make it look look down on people. So when they go through the trail and their snow goal lights are on, they'll see that doll just looking down at them. It'll be so creepy, such a good prank. And we did that. Me, my mom, my sister, we put that thing up in the tree, put little, you know, snow pants on it and a hat and stuff, make it look just creepy like it was a little kid up in the tree. We put it up there and we went back home. Me and my sister went to bed and we woke up the next day and we wanted to go visit my dad because you know my mom and dad are divorced and so we were gonna go visit them and um me and my sister start our snow go up and when we started up we start going in the trail and we reached a part where we put the doll up in the tree and we look up and it's gone and we're like okay that's weird somebody must have just like taken it home or something we kept on going down the trail and there's this part of the trail that goes down into a river and this river is frozen ice but there's a stack of logs and, you know, sticks and stuff that my uppa, my grandpa, put on the ice. So when we get down there, we look at that pile of wood and we see somebody, like, messing with the woods, throwing the sticks up in the air behind its back. And we don't know, we don't know who it is because this person is facing away from us. So since it's my uppa's, like, wood and his logs, I stop the snow go and I say, Hey, what are you doing? And I see this thing just drop. I thought, what's wrong with them? Are they okay? So I get up and I run and I go check that person. But as I got closer, I noticed the size of the person looked like it got smaller. When I grabbed the arm of that, what I thought was a person, I felt the texture of it and I flipped it over and it's that doll. I freaked the fuck out and I start running to the snow machine, telling my sister to start the snow machine. She's crying and she's trying to start the snow machine, but she can't start it because she's too small. So I get there and I pull the snow go and we book it. Yeah, we burned the doll afterwards in, in a fire, so I think that's solved. We were not about to, like, you know, try to throw that thing in the trash and then it comes back into our house at night and then, you know, possesses us.